hi guys you welcome back to my channel once again guys today in this video i'm gonna make this a quick one to show to you guys um in case you want to verify google my business maybe you're having issue to verify your google my business and then you know you will want to verify it with either a phone code or by email code you don't want to use business verification or you don't want to use uh, something like uh, a post card being mailed to you so guys today i'm gonna show you something about creating an agency account and i'm gonna make this one a very quick one so guys before we get started please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please click on the like button and comment to the video whatever you think if this video uh, really help you let me know uh, actually in the comment box section so guys let's us get started so for those of you that are looking at that that, that that are watching this video agency account is for everybody every country no matter where you are the nigeria the usa canada any country you are agency account is meant for you you can create it anywhere you want but if you want it to work perfectly for you there's something that you need to do okay just come over here to your browser and switch to ignito tab this is the black one the ignito tab it is very good if you want to sign up for agency account because when what you're trying to do with the agency account is that you're trying to manipulate something that you cannot do on the normal google my business um website so that is the reason why we need the agency account so now let us get started and uh, let us try to create the agency account so you go to uh, business.google.com okay so you go to business.google.com slash agency sign up so um i'm sorry for that business.google.com slash agency sign up okay so once you are here there's something that you need over here as you can see over here it says what is your agency website so before you can be able to you know to sign up for um a google agency something stuff like this you need a uh, agency website which is very simple agency websites can be any website that you have so in this case you are not uh to input your website url over here don't do that mistake what you have to input here is your website email you know it can be anything at your domain.com for example like this you can do like this at ipo reach as ipo reach.com so google need something like this from you not your website um address okay so i'm gonna input my own web mail inside here so just one second so here am I, I am now inputting my website email address here and then you're going to click on next. So over here now, it says let's confirm it's you, you know. So you need to sign you, you need to sign up, you know, with this web address that you just input. You need to sign up with it into the Google uh, agency, something like that. You, you, you need to sign up with it. So and if, if, if I try to sign up now, I don't have the account with Google account with this uh email webmail address before so over here now i've got to create a new account so guys be uh very sure about what when you're doing it i i, I wanted to look into this aspect very well to be sure uh, so that you you guys won't make any mistake so i'm gonna write my first name my first name and my last name okay so that's it so then click on next so uh, uh my date of birth okay so and then the gender is male then you click on next as well so um over here it's gonna ask you for the email that you want to use so over here now we are going to use the existing email that is the email that i use the web mail will be the email that we are going to use to sign up for the google account that is for the gmail that we want to link with the agency account do not make the mistake of uh, of creating a new gmail for yourself okay so don't get tempted in that aspect so i'm gonna i'm gonna input the um gmail uh over here so then uh then you click on next so now google will send a verification email a verification code into the web mail that you just inputted so right now i'm gonna go into the web mail to check uh for the code and then once the code is there i'm gonna input it back here so guys give me just a minute i'll be back so i've gotten the code and here is the code so then click on the next as well so now now that i have verified it i need to create myself a strong password okay and then 
click on next again so over here now you need to add a phone number of yourself you know i'm glad really glad it's it asked me to skip because most of the time if you want to do this you will need to add a phone number by force okay so now that it asked me asked me to skip i will gladly skip it okay because i think i have used almost all of my phone number to create a google account because it really helped me to get my business verified you know so um once this is done like this as you can see the agency account is done and then this is it so you can just confirm this is the account so um over here you need to fill it's very simple details of the account you know you, you need to fill the agency your, your agency name the address and something like that so over here as you can see I am not turning on any VPN. I'm not using any VPN, but as you can see, this thing just bring me into the United States straight away. As you can see, it all over here. So um, over here now, I can gladly fill the information as a United States citizen because I have an address, I have a phone number in the United States, I have everything, and I can simply fill it. But if you don't have, or, or, or you want to say maybe you don't have like you know an address in the usa a phone number in the usa you don't have anything like that to input over here you can simply change it to your own country like my country is nigeria now i can easily change it to nigeria and then and you know fill in my details and then be able to use it with nigerian stuff of course it will verify any listing either in nigeria listing or a united states listing any listing it will surely verify it okay so now i will input my agency name as you all know my nickname is hyperage and then i will be using the street address of the united states so guys i will be back let me pause this a little so um above i have inputted my you know my address and my phone number in the united states so i scroll down then i click on i have agreed to the terms so over here most of the time it asks for contact email you see over here and then it makes it a must most of the time but i will try to click on finish now so if it takes me back over here to add it by must then i will add it okay so let me click finish first so you say please add at least one owner so which means i've got to make someone and honor and then there's something you need to know whenever you're trying to add something like this to uh to your google agency account the email that you wanted to add make sure the email doesn't manage any location before make sure the email doesn't manage any location before even a single location make sure the email doesn't manage at all if you input it into maybe maybe you input an email that has been managing a bunch of locations before into this um agency account maybe you invited them as a owner or as a manager to manage your agency account google will surely reject it so we are using a clean email with no google business location at all so um let me try and get that email i'll be back so guys um here is the email and then i click on the finish so um that means it is that you can see now it says congratulations thank you for registering your agency so now you can manage locations under our account and enjoy the pick like easy account management access and support all right like that so let us click on get started so now this is the agency account and the agency account is now set up for us to use once and for all so now the benefit of us you know creating an agency account is to verify google my business easily reinstate google my business easily and then so that we can do it on our own okay this is guys this, this, this is what i've been using you know for the past let's say for the past some months now maybe for the past six months to verify google my business to reinstate google my business i'm going to show you guys some of the google my business which i have you know successfully reinstated of course so um you can see it on your screen like that so and then uh, so um to be able to show it uh, to, to be able to uh, you know to be able to uh, verify a business there's one thing you need to do is that you need to create a group first you can see this, this, this is the dashboard of your agency account go to the business you see everything you will have to create a group first so let us try to create a group and then we can make the uh, name our group you know something like let's say let's say um gmb1 or let's say gmb to do that's that's make it gmb to then click on create so once you click on create as you can see it will be the total business of a business that you have verified total business of business that was suspended google update permanently close or duplicate listing it's going to show you as you can see here we have zero percent which means we're just starting our agency account so um 
guys if you uh, are still with me on this video to this uh, aspect please um you can just try to comment uh, the time you know the time frame into the comment section, uh, comment box section i want to know if you guys are still with me if you are enjoying my video um as it is um uh, going like that so um what you've got to do right now is that um once the uh group has been created as you can see over here now you follow the step the way you follow it when you are creating your business in the normal google uh my business website page how you do is stuff like that so just click on um uh, add the business and had a single business so over here now as you guys can see now over here um, i am to add uh you know to add the uh, business into the Google and make sure the business is live on the Google and the business must be verified with either phone or email don't forget that so um this one thing that you got to do is that okay I'm sorry for showing that so um, the only thing you've got to do is that um, I will try to bring a business you know over here now and then try to verify the uh, the business so um, over here now this is my business name okay so uh, paste it it here and I said continue you say it says business must be at least four characters of course, of course uh, you know this is just uh, someone who hires me you know to do this so I'm gonna try to edit his business name and try to explain to him the main reason why i have to do this you understand so okay now it's done i just erase the service at the back of the of the business name and it's go so over here it says choose your business type online retail local store service business and something like that you know so over here i'm gonna choose uh, 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 an option that will allows me to add my address into um into the uh, business you know so you know, you know if, if you choose some some of this like this some business type it will only allow you to input your service area but i, do, I don't want to input my service area the main reason why i don't like using service area is because if the business is later suspended and you want to reinstate the business you know maybe in your in, in your bill in your utility bill maybe in your business proof in your business license that you want to upload to google your address was there and then on the google you use a service area you know it will be complicated to submit a reinstatement form and you know if your reinstatement form was declined of course you can still get it to reinstate maybe by just showing the uh, your storefront to google to record the storefront and send it to them of course they will reinstate your listing but it's a long process so that's why i don't want to use something like that you know so i will want something that will just allow me to input the address into it once and for all so let me just go for the local store i think that's one will you know will um let me add my address so click on next as we can see so it's asking for the uh category i think the category is garage door supplies of course this category is a spam category okay these are garage door suppliers is a it's a what it's a uh it is spam category on google my business so it might be hard for it to done but we have to make sure we know what we're doing okay so click on next as well so over here it asks for the uh for the business address so i'm gonna change this one to united states because um it's united states i used to sign up for this agency account so and then i am going to input his business address in here so let me go and take his business address so now i'm gonna input the address over here so this is the address and then i click on it like this as you guys can see so i'm gonna click on next don't forget the main objective is for this business to be verified by either phone number or email so this is our agency account and then that is the reason why we are trying to do this so i'm gonna take none of this and then continue so over here is there is something that you guys need to really really uh look good there uh, take good care of so um you need to input your phone number here and uh, your website over here so um if you input your phone number and uh, you input your website having, having a website will automatically let google you know check into your website let's see maybe if you have you know a web mail so that isn't why i said you must have a web mail before starting to create this thing so then i will get the phone number now and then i will input the website over there so just give me a second tap back so uh here this is now this is the phone number and here is the uh, website as well so now click on the next step so uh you know 
should I say over a couple of days now, Google has been having this issue. I don't know if they know they have the issue themselves. You know, whenever you get to this stage and then you want to continue to verify your business, it doesn't allow you. you just say something went wrong. So, so if you uh, land yourself in this kind of situation, you can troubleshoot your browser or troubleshoot your PC or so that and then, then you can do it again. But let us try to click continue. Maybe it will go. So um, we've done it, clicking on the continue. As you can see, it says something went wrong. We're having some issue. That is what it has been showing for some this time. But what I have shown you guys, is not, this is not a waste of time of your time. What I've shown you guys, it's something that really works for me personally. I think I can show you, you know, uh, the some of the video that I've, taken after i verify the business or instead the business and it has really helped me a lot on my side so um if you really enjoyed this video please please drop your comment in the comment box section if you need my help as well drop your comment as well or you can chat me up in my email just go to my youtube uh you know or my youtube home page click on the about then prove you're not a robot copy my email and message me directly from there i'll be able to you know to see your message and reply to you but don't forget the most important thing is for you to subscribe to this channel like this video and then we will take it from the next step so guys thank you to see you in my this in in, in, in this video till we meet again